your mark. Get set. And go! Get over there. C spot. C spot run. C spot run after really gross slime covered something. Whichever dog fetches first will bark into the lead with 20 bucks. And control of the show, where dressing like dogs gets you some dough. The bone and you got the shoes, so let's hurry on. It's super, super sloppy, sloppy double dare. dare. And now here's your super sloppy double dare host, Mark Summers. Hi there. Hi, thank you, audience, and thank you, Harvey. Welcome to Super Sloppy Double Dare. Somehow I have whipped cream on me already, and I don't know how, but it makes no difference because we're here to make a mess. We're here to have a good time, and we're here to meet the team on my right. They call themselves the Greased Thunder Team, Dave and Deanna. Hi, Dave. How are you? I'm pretty good. All right. Uh, tell me about this major Beatles fan situation. Uh, no, I'm just a real big Beatles fan. like all their music. I have posters all over my wall. Oh, that's great. Uh, Dana Calderwood, our, uh, our producer here, has thousands of dollars of uh, Beatle paraphernalia that he buys at places. And uh, it's because he makes so much money on the show, because now we do have a budget. Uh, and Deanna, uh, <laughs> tell me about your baseball. Uh, you play softball and hardball? Yeah. Um, I'm a catcher, and I've played for six years. That's great. And uh, what's the record of the team? Pretty good? Well, last year we were undefeated. That's pretty darn good. All right, $20 over there. Team on my left calls themselves the Mucus Membranes. Say hello to Betsy and Rosan. <laughs> Am I saying it right? Is it Rosan? Yes. Oh, good. And uh, tell me about this hamster called Chewy. Well, well, the first time I got him, he chewed out of his box. Cause oh, really? I, because I got him and he chewed out of the box before I could put him in his cage and he got, he ran away. And Is it exciting him. having a, ham a hamster? I mean, do they do anything? Uh, they make a lot of noise at night. Oh, okay. And Betsy, uh, why do your friends call you Kleenex? Because um, <laughs> me and my friends have this joke because um, I used to use up all my math, math teachers tissues during one class, so we just kind of had this joke about it. And that's that's the nickname, Kleenex. All right, well, let's talk about the show. We're daring for dollars. We'll double your bucks, and here's how that works. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But, of course, they can always double dare you back for how much, Harvey? Uh, would that be a million times the bucks, Mark? No, no, I think it's only four times the bucks. Uh, and then, we don't have the budget after all, do we? <laughs> oh, apparently not. And then what happens? Oh, uh, Then they can either answer that question or take our favorite thing, the physical challenge. That's right. Well, it's time to move on and play this game. Good luck over here to the mucous membranes. Uh, $20 over here for Grease Thunder and this $10 question. What piece of their anatomy did the three blind mice lose to the farmer's wife? Tails. Yeah, cut off their tails with a carving knife. You have $30, and Dave and Deanna have a lead. What part of your body would a person wear an espadrille? It's worth 10 or you can dare them. Dare. Now worth $20. Come on, get on the board here, guys. What part of your body would you wear an espadrille? Double dare. Now worth 40 What part of the body is it, or are we doing our first physical challenge? I think it's time for a physical challenge. Okay, it's the feet, and we have a $40 physical challenge over here for Dave and Deanna. Step down over here. Well, you know, Sunday morning breakfasts are lots of fun for me because we always go out and have pancakes. The whole family goes out. Do you like pancakes? Sure. Well, do you like to make pancakes, or do you like to have them served to you? I like them served. You like them served? You like the... Okay, well, I tell you what. Why don't you go over there, then, and i like you to step over here, because Dave has a serving plate. Now, you can imagine, with a serving plate this size, there are going to be lots of huge pancakes, correct? Yes. Oh, that's right, and here's where they are. They're right over here, and all you have to do is pick up a pancake and dip it into the syrup, and we have lots of gooky syrup in there. Now, you don't have to stick the whole thing in, but just this part like here, and then send it over there, flying saucer style, until you catch one in there, and then hold on to it because we're going to send another one over there. You actually have to have two, and of course, if you go to one of these fancy pancake places, they don't just send uh, pancakes over. What do they put on top, usually? Whipped cream. Oh, and don't you know that we have lots of whipped cream over here. So once you send those pancakes over there, run over here and pour the whipped cream onto the platter. So you'll have to be standing over here, and whipped cream has to get on top of you, okay? Actually, not on you on there, but maybe it'll get on top of you, too. You have, uh, what, 20 seconds to send two pancakes over there and get the whipped cream on. On your mark. Get set. Go! Dip it in the syrup and send it over there.
Indiana made some great pancakes with lots of whipped cream, and uh, boy, did they make a mess. But uh, in the meantime, they've also added $40 to their score. They have $70 and this $10 question. At which Ivy League university would you find the Lampoon, the Crimson, and the Hasty Pudding Club? Bring it to $80 or you could dare them. Dare. Now we're at $20. Let's get on the board, guys. Ivy League university, where would you find the Lampoon, the Crimson, and the Hasty Pudding Club? You could double dare them back. Double dare. Now it's 40. What university is it? Or is it a physical challenge time again? I think it's physical challenge. <laughs> okay, it's Harvard. And uh, let's do another physical challenge right over here with Dave Deanna. Deanna, you are a big baseball fan, and we're here in Philadelphia. You ever go to the Phillies games? Sure. You ever get good seats? All right. Nah, not so good. Why don't you have a seat right over here facing the cameras out over there? And uh, Dave, you have a seat right over here facing the cameras. Uh, normally, people uh, like uh, us get the cheap seats, you know, because all those people who have season tickets get the good ones. And I hate it when you go and, and people always want to pass down food. Like, they always want popcorn. So you hold on to the popcorn. And then some guy always says, can I have a hot dog down there? And I say, yeah. So they, they send him the hot dog. And then somebody always wants some ketchup. So you got to hold on to, oh, put some ketchup on there? Oh, I'd be happy to. Why don't we put some ketchup on there? And then, of course, they always want some mustard, right, Dave? So we got to put some mustard on there, and, and that makes me crazy. So hold on to that. I know it's getting a little bit difficult, but hold on to the ketchup and the mustard. And then somebody says, hey, I need a soda, soda down there. So hold on to the soda. And, uh, of course, somebody always wants another souvenir, and we have one that says Super Sloppy Double Dare. So you hold on to that. Now you're holding on to several objects. What I need you to do is pass them down over to your partner, Deanna, when I say go. And then after you do that, you run all the way back here and come around here and sit next to her. And then she passes it to you. And then you get around and pass it to him. And if we have you sitting all the way at the end here, holding all the items, we'll give you 40 additional dollars. You have 30 seconds to do it all. If anything drops, pick it back up. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Get it over. Oh, there's a good job. Go on over. You need to sit in the middle. That's a good idea. There's one. You got to pick up the popcorn. You got to pick up the popcorn. And the popcorn. OK, now, OK, that's good. Now come around here. They said they did not get it. Okay, let's put it down here and move on over. $40 goes to the other team. Nice try. Whoa, what a miss. I have drink and popcorn and hot dogs all over my body. Well, that's part of the fun of hosting this show. $40 goes over here to Betsy and Rasan, the mucous membranes, and they have this $10 question. In what novel would you find Injun Joe, Becky Thatcher, and a fence in need of whitewashing? Tom Sawyer? Yes, and that's written by Mark Twain, and you now have $50 on your side of the board. $20 separating our two teams. Let's go back to the mucous membranes. In baseball, what letter of an alphabet is used to record a strike? Bring it a 60. S? S is incorrect. It is the letter K, and I could never find that out. I've been asking that question for years. Nobody can tell us why the K is the symbol. It makes no difference. Control goes over here to Grease Thunder. The boy wonders cape is yellow in Batman. What color are Robin's boots? Green. That's very good. You now have added $10, and you have a $30 lead for the Grease Thunder team. In 1988, the town of Marlboro, Massachusetts, made it illegal to do what in public? Smoke cigarettes, walk barefoot, or use canned silly string? It's worth 10, or you can dare them. There. Now we're 20. What was illegal? Smoking cigarettes, walking barefoot, or using canned silly string? Well, you could double dare them back. A. A. Smoking cigarettes is incorrect. Put uh, 20 over here. It's using cans of silly string. You get fined $200 if you're caught. $100 now for Dave and Deanna. And that sound means it's the end of round one. And with $100, Grease Thunder has the lead. 50 over here. Two on 
on Super Sloppy Double Dare, that means all the dollar values will be doubled. And if you hear this sound any time, that means the game is over. There was a question during the break. They wanted to know why they didn't get that physical challenge where they had to keep running around with the uh, things from the uh, football stadium. The reason is they were supposed to go behind. They went in front. That's the reason. Let's get to the uh, round two toss-up where we have pie and where we have a bowl. The bowl has nothing in it, but there's a cherry here. We want that cherry to go in the bowl, wheelbarrow style. First one to get three cherries and three bowls gets $40 control of round two. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Get that cherry in there and get it in the container. Who's going to be forced? I'm going to come over here and try and find out. They're having a hard time getting those cherries. And the next one in is the winner. Yes, over here, the blue side. Yeah, congratulations. A little pie in the face, but a little action going over here up on stage because $40 was added to blue to Grease Thunder. They now have $140. And they have this $20 question. Keep in mind, it's 20, 40, and then 80 on a double dare. What's the TV first name of the beast on TV's Beauty and the Beast? Bring it to 160, or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $40. This would bring you to 90. What's the beast's name? Vincent. You are right. Add $40. You now have 90. Nice job there. $50 separating the two teams. The males are toms, and the females are hens, and the babies poults. What kind of animals are they? Well, you can dare them. Hens? Hens is incorrect. It is turkeys, sort of the same family. No dare at stake, no money changing place. Back to Dave and Deanna. Which letter on the Crest toothpaste tube is red? It's worth 20, or you could dare them. C. C is right, and we've added $20. You now have 160 Grease Thunder in control. In a magazine article, Justine Bateman said that if she was elected president, she would concentrate on what issue? The homeless, education, or getting more of the funny lines on family ties? There. Now worth 40 Was it the homeless, education, or getting more funny lines? Or you can double the homeless. back. The homeless is incorrect. It was education. $40 goes over here on this side of the board. They now have $200, and they have control. <laughs> Tell me, Grease Thunder, Mozambique and Brazil share the same official language. What is it? There. Now worth 40 Mozambique, Brazil, share, uh, share the same official language. What is it? Bring it to 130 Double dare. $80 now. What language is it? Or are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. It's Portuguese. And we have an $80 physical challenge right over here. This could really tighten things up if you are unsuccessful. I'm a little thirsty. You know, I get real thirsty out here. And uh, the lights just sort of drain you. So I want you to come right over here and uh, have a seat and put these goggles on. Turn around. And uh, over here we have a huge lemon. And what would you find in a huge lemon? Lemon juice. Well, that's right. So uh, have a seat, Indian style, facing that direction. And when I say go, I'm going to turn this on, and lots of lemon juice will come down on your head, and you have to get it in there. What you have to do is make sure it fills up as far as you want it to fill up, and run over here and fill it in this container. If you get it past the line in 30 seconds or less, we're going to give you 80 additional dollars. Good luck. Start it on your head. On your mark. Get set. Go. And we've got it on full force. And Drippy young lady, I'll take that. No problem, she's walking in circles. And we're gonna move back over here and play some more. Super sloppy. Double dare. All right, Dave and Deanna, nice job. 200 and uh, I believe it was $70. And here's our next question. What former go-go is featured in ads for LA gear? Uh, 280 is right. There. All right, uh, 280 is right, by the way. Uh, what former go-go is featured in ads for LA gear? Governor. Now worth 80 again. It was Belinda Carlisle. That sound means the end of the game. And with $280, Dave and Deanna have won today's game of Super Sloppy Double Dare. Congratulations. $140 apiece. More important, a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare obstacle course. Betsy Razan just had a tough time getting back into the game here in round two. Nobody goes away with 90. We're going to make that $100. That's $50 apiece. And Harvey, what else do they get? Oh, yes, indeed.
lots of craziness here today on Super Sloppy Double Dare as Grease Thunder is ready to run all eight obstacles in 60 seconds or less. You can do it, right? Yeah. Sure. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Number one is dog food. Who's going to do that? Deanna, that is your job to crawl through this doggy door. Come up the other side. And over here, we have lots of gooky dog food. Stick your hand on that gook. Grab the flag. Pass it over to Dave and win this. It's Hopsy's dual cassette recorder. Three amplifiers with woofer, tweeter, mid-range, and powerful speaker system. A masterpiece in technology, and it comes from Hitachi. Little hint on the next one, Dave. Stay as low as you can, because those things really do knock you in the head sometimes. I've had it happen to me. On the last shoe on your left is usually where the flag is. Don't forget to stand up and grab it. Pass it over to your partner. And Harvey, what's the prize now? It's the Ray-Ban Smart Start Collection from Bausch & Long. They're what's happening in kids' fashion. Serious sunglasses for kids who want to look their coolest. Available in various styles and colors. Name of your team is Grease Thunder, but I want you to go through this next one like Grease Lightning. And if you have any trouble, that's what the crank is for. Push it out in this direction. And down the old Gakaruni uh, slide, you'll find this flag. Before you hit that area down there, grab that flag. You'll pick up time, and you'll pick this up. It's Bush Now. Another old favorite today, the tank, and Dave's jumping into that. It's a bucket of balls, and the flag is not where it might normally be seen on this show in days past. Now it's over here near the step. Before you come out, you can pick up that flag. You'll pick up what, Harvey? It's a new bike, Mark. Fusion 500 shifts you into the future with five speeds, radical tires, and Space Age features Fusion 500 from Kent, where the future is now. We are at obstacle number five, and you get to go through the old head here. Now, they tell me this looks like me. I'm not too sure, but uh, nobody's actually ever been inside my brain like some of the people who have been on this course. And if you look through there, there's lots of earwax. Just wave to all the folks at home, and you'll be able to see them because you'll be able to see the flag, and you'll be able to win this. The 29 by the flag goes to the is not one of my favorites, but if you go to California, it seems like a lot of those people eat sushi. Oh, wow. Well, this is uh, human sushi, and you guys crawl right through that first little area of sushi and rice and, uh, gee, crab and uh, avocado. The second one, and finally the third one. See where the flag is? It's over there. Don't stand up. Stay on your knees. Then pass the flag, and then win what prize? The Casio MT520, a 49-key electronic keyboard with 12 instrument sounds and 12 background rhythms. Features eight onboard drum pads from Casio, where miracles never cease. Another one of our new obstacles here on Super sloppy, double dare, the kid farm. Get up the ladder as quickly as you can and down the sand and around this area. Now, where is the flag? Gosh, it usually is up. Oh, there it is. You guys found it before I did. I hope you find it real fast when we're really running this because you can win this. The Kawasha 19-inch monitor's final cable looking for the flag over here on Moonwalk. It's all the way over there. Crawl on through. Grab it. Have it in your hand in 60 seconds or less. And we have a super prize, don't we, Harvey? It's a magical vacation. Your magical vacation is at the beautiful Howard Johnson Resort. Welcome to the village for the magical kingdom. And Epcot Center right at your doorstep. One of the prettiest shots in television. This is the obstacle course ungacked. Now in 60 seconds, we'll see what it looks like gacked. Cheer them on, audience. On your mark, get set, go!
you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare gets a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Super Sloppy Double Dare.